Hi everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing well. This is another short review, and I, today I'm going to be reviewing a short film called Please Speak Continuously and Describe Your Experiences As They Come to You. It's a very long title. It's a very short film. <laughs> it's only like 10 minutes long. It's it's very imaginative. It's very creative. It's very well done. I love this short film. I came across it while going through my random criterion searches and it just, it blew me away. I was very impressed with it. So let's get right into it. So we open on this really, really great shot that just encapsulates so much of the movie in such a simple image. And I'm not going to describe the image, but you'll see it when you see it. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Um, it has the whole movie cinematography has this just encroaching, invasive element to it where so much of it just feels parasitic and viral and inf infestuous, like, like a growing tumor in the back of your head. And it's really, really well done. And it's really, really impressive, too. So there's that, the fantastic cinematography. There's also some really, really incredible editing in this movie between the special effects and the actual editing itself. There's a sequence towards the end. Uh, the, the film essentially tells the story of this young girl who's in treatment for some brain mal... abnormity... And she, while she's being treated, she lives through her past dreams. And there's a sequence towards the third dream that's so well edited and so well done that it's, it's very artistic and it's trying a little hard to be, but the editing itself is extremely well done, extremely good. And it adds this element of sort of pressure that's being built around the whole film. The soundscape of the film is nearly non-existent, but that is a plus because it adds a lot of temp tension to the film. It adds a lot of pressure. It adds a lot of that fire underneath the film that really gets things cooking. And it is very, very meaningful. It's very purposeful. And it, it's just extremely well done, extremely well crafted. It's a very well crafted film more than anything else. And it has nice play with colors and dreams and the idea of like thought and memory. And it has a lot of different things that it's trying to be. But the biggest problems with it come that it gets a little repetitive by the time that we get to the third dream. Which is intentionally part of what it's trying to be. But on the other hand, it's trying hard to be that. But it's like... It leaves the audience a little frustrated because it's like we're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere, and we never really get there. Instead, we get this little horror aspects that are very well done. The ending is very well done as well. Um, although there are some weak parts to it. I didn't really understand it the first time that I saw it, but by the time I saw it the second time, I really enjoyed it. Um, but it has these awe-striking visuals and these very, very creepy horror elements to it that work very, very well. And the biggest problem with it, like I mentioned, is that it's repetitive and that it's also a little bit cheesy. Like, there are some parts of it that's trying way too hard to be like an artsy-fartsy student film, and it gets a little pretentious, it gets a little stuck up its own ass, and that's when the movie is at its worst. But when it's at its best, it's a truly artistic truly well done horror short but unfortunately it has those moments where you feel like okay get on with it we know you can make a movie now just tell us a good story you know what i mean so those are essentially it that's all my thoughts on this film i really enjoyed it i'm going to give it an 88 percent which rates it the highest short that i've ever reviewed on this channel so far so thank you all so much for coming thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you next time Bye bye